안녕하십니까 여러분 저는 영극 아저씨입니다 Hello and welcome to another PPT English game And today's game is another Peppa Pig game But this time it's going to be a reading game So let's get straight into it Now the first slide will show you how to change the uh, PPT view size or ratio From 4x3 to 16x9 So just go ahead and put the view ratio into 16x9 which will make the gameplay much better. And there's a short intro video here, Peppa Pig talking. Uh, you can play this video or you can skip it if you want. I'm gonna move on. And here we are, Peppa Pig English reading game. So there is a description of how to play this game, which will use English and Korean, which is very useful if you're playing this game for the first time with students. So everybody stands up. And then the students have to read a sentence. Click on the pink box here, and it's going to reveal uh, what they have to do. So in this case, it's continue to stand up, so that student can stay standing. Uh, let's read again. This is my little brother, George. Yeah, George is crying. And, thank you. And in this case, the student has to sit down. They are out of the game for a while, maybe. And let's read again. This is Mummy Pig. Yeah. I like it when my friends come to play. So, Ila Sait Nun Haksenung, Darun Hakseni, Ila Nage, Santek He Seo. So, they can choose another student to stand up again, which makes this game more interesting because students can go out of the game and come back in. Cool. So, that's how to play. And let's go and play this game. So let's move past that slide. And this is the template here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've put numbers by each one. Uh, I found this is very useful because lower level students who maybe cannot read English well or have problems with even just seeing what's written there, they're able to choose one of the numbers and then you can assist them or help them or other students can help them to read the word. Makes it less embarrassing and more comfortable for lower level students. So of course this is a template. So I'm just going to come back here and you can put whatever you want uh, in here. So just for example, I can put here apple, uh, let's have, I don't know, orange, uh, banana, Banana, uh, kiwi, all of my favorite fruits. And um, well, let's have a, a pear. Pear, what else can I have in here? Um, strawberry, uh, melon. Melon, that'll do. Nice and easy. Okay. Spell correct will help. And let's just um, open this back up again. So you've got those six words there. So you can build this game as you want it. Single words, full sentences, whatever level you want. And all the students will be standing up. Uh, make an order, choose a student from the front and then move around to the back or go vice versa, go from the back towards the front. And the student will choose the word and read the word loud and clearly. And then you as a teacher just click on the box, for example, Apple, and continue standing. And uh, yeah, you've got to sit down on that one. Kiwis, continue standing. Banana, sit down. Pear, continue standing. Our melon here, choose another student to stand up. So what I've done is I've put Korean on the first slide. Only on the first slide, the Korean instructions are there. Literally just to remind the kids of how this game is played, whether they stand up or sit down. And then when we go into the next slide, you'll find... There's no Korean there. By that time, the students, they should know what they've got to do. They usually remember very, very quickly. Like this, okay? And you can keep going through all the different rounds. And uh, there's actually a total of, <laughs> sorry, I'm snorting like a pig. Uh, there's a total of nine nine slides or nine rounds and then when you get to slide nine it doesn't say slide nine it says magimac in korean when you see the magimac it means it's the last slide it's the last round the students will see that and they will very clearly remind everyone 
about that. So that's the final slide. And then there is a round two. And in round two, I've moved some of the locations of where the stand up and the sit down parts are. So what you can do is you can, if you don't have that much time, I'd recommend just using one round. But if you want to make a much longer game, you can make a round two. I find these games, they seem to uh, take much longer to play than I would expect. So I would expect two rounds to definitely be at least 20 minutes or definitely probably going to be more than 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. So one round will be much shorter between 10 or 15 minutes. So that is it. When you get to the end, there's Peppa Pig to say it's the end. So that is it. And as I said before, it is a template. So you can change this to whatever you want it to be. And um, I hope this game is useful to somebody. Uh, reading games to me are very useful and um, if you have any comments or any problems or anything you would like to see changed uh, you're welcome to say so um, actually I would just point out that these small pigs I've put in the corner if they get in the way you can always just uh, delete them or cut them or what you can do is just make them um, you know very very small so if you're writing very long sentences these little pigs may get in the way but I've kept them fairly small, so they shouldn't make too much of a problem. Okay, so that is about it. Thank you very much for watching, and um, hopefully I'll be making some new games soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Bye-bye.